Hin Oyen Sia Ha Hedanje Can or Game Masters here, and just off the heels of Bigby Presents Glory of the Giants, we are jumping on over to Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. And I gotta let you know right off the bat that we will see some spoilers or two in today's video. As the title suggests, we are taking a look at a fairly unique creature that players will encounter as they adventure through Fandelver, the Doppelganger. Doppelganger! A doppelganger itself is a shapeshifter. It can take on the appearance of other humanoids, which in turn can cause all kinds of chaos as they can shift into someone else, even if being chased. Your garden variety doppelganger has an armor class of 14 and 8d8 plus 16 hit points. They have a strength of 11, a dexterity of 18, a constitution of 15, their intelligence is 11, wisdom is 12, and charisma is 14, which I've often wondered if their charisma could be in flux, as they may become a haggard old urchin living under the street. I mean, that'd be a hard case that's kind of tough to beat, but I assume that they could morph into a beautiful enchantress. Would that charisma be bolstered? And, and I realized that the stat for comeliness disappeared years upon years ago, and it was really just an optional stat, and while charisma entails more of one's personality and less on physical beauty, still, I gotta wonder, and wow, was that ever a tangent, and all just so I could squeeze in a silly GNR joke. Doppelgangers cannot be charmed, and they are generally considered to have a challenge rating of 3. Before we jump into the Doppelganger's abilities, I'd love to get a shout out to these thumbs up supporters and members. Their support helps me to keep my videos sponsor ad free, and if you'd like to become a member, I'll leave information down in the description. Oh, and if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. As mentioned, Doppelgangers. Doppelgangers are shapeshifters. They can polymorph into small or medium humanoids that they have seen, and this might answer my charisma question, as it does specifically state that its statistics, other than size, are the same in each form. It is considered an ambusher, uh, which gives the doppelganger advantage on attack rolls against any creature it has surprised. And if it surprises said creature, the doppelganger's surprise attack ability comes into play, and the target takes an extra 3d6 damage from that attack. Four actions. The doppelganger can make two melee attacks, and while the stats presented here cite that it does 1d6 plus 4 bludgeoning damage, I'd assume that it can dish out slashing damage, piercing damage, or, or whatever other type of damage based on its specific weapon of choice that it's using at that given moment. It can also read thoughts magically reading the surface thoughts of a creature within 60 feet of it. There are some limitations. For example, if there is a barrier of, say, uh, two inches thick of metal between the doppelganger and its target, it can't read thoughts through that. But assume that there is no barrier, the read thoughts action will provide to the doppelganger advantage on insight, uh, deception, intimidation, and persuasion checks against its target. Now, at the beginning, I said there'd be spoilers. Now, here's the big spoiler that's going to come into play. As the players adventure through Cragmaw Castle, they may encounter Vagirith, a doppelganger disguised as a female drow elf, and she most certainly has her own agenda. Take heed, for uh, there is a map that she is looking to obtain and will fight to the death if cornered, but she will likely flee uh, or, or attempt to if possible. But also know this. She does answer someone to some, that is a bit more powerful than her. Regardless of the setting, doppelgangers are a pretty fun monster to run in one's campaign. And of course, in Fendelver and below, uh, while the Yirith only shows up in one section, a crafty DM could easily have her introduced earlier in the campaign. I mean, Consider this. Uh, she's a doppelganger. It could literally look like anyone. And if you'd like to take a look at other Fandelver videos, be sure to check out this playlist. It's only going to grow as we add more to it. What are some unique ways that you've used doppelgangers in your own campaign? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may you not encounter danger hiding in plain sight.